on Pikachu, then you... It's one of those characters where you just plays better by only playing Pikachu and like practicing Pikachu stuff. Oh, right. see, he does play Link. It is him. Yeah, That's crazy. That's what I was saying. I, it's interesting because, right. like, I feel like for the first time since like the game came out, you won't get crucified for saying Pika's like not a top three character. Yeah, I think Pika's strong. I think Pika's definitely top tier. But uh, I don't know. This game's like horseshit, right? <laughs> and right now, the meta. Well, he's not as horseshit. <laughs> I don't think so. He, don't think people are good. he can't kill you. If he can't kill you, like sub one hundred, it's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Live with what? Like a down air. Where yeah, if you get a spike. Kidding you off stage. Yeah, you can get like a decent edge guard, but he's one it's of not the best like super crazy. Yeah. I think he's one of the best. And then we have like Kazuya, who you have to like develop a full game plan against, and like Steve, right? Like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> like, well, Steve, Steve and Kazuya can also be broken. Pika can be broken. I don't think like I don't know. They, I think they both have like. I think all three of those have like super flexible like pun punish exactly. game that starts off really good moves. They're and all neutral. very good characters. Yeah, I'll say that. Speaking of very good, very good neutral air oh. to take that first stock. Oh, the reverse nair. That's kind of yeah. cute. I see you, Choji. Choji's been like, in, you know, I think that um, during the Wi-Fi era, you know, Choji was uh, kind of dabbling with some other characters like Snake, but I. Since he's come back, he's only he's been sticking with the Sonic. I mean, sorry, <laughs> Samus. Excuse me. Um, Would be quite odd if you were gonna play Sonic and not do it during Wi-Fi. Exactly. But uh, he's been, you know, he has like, I think he has a good game plan with uh, with Samus, and we'll yeah. see how that uh, comes to fruition with, you know, as he goes through this bracket. Zai, you know, giving him. Choji, a lot of respect. <laughs> True. Choji does have the uh, FNNTS uh, matchup experience, right? Yeah. Final ninja of the Link Sage. Oh, and that bomb, though. Checking Choji. Okay. Right. Actually. I was talking to Choji like quite a while ago, like on a ride to an S to us. I think he said that like uh, Ninja was like the one who got him into Smash. Yeah, I definitely remember them uh, playing a lot when Ninja was a little bit more active. It's very much an elite Smash matchup. <laughs> People play Link online. Oh heck yeah! I that. Okay. You can get that bear one into the up tilt with a little trap there. The oh, the boomerang's coming back. Charge shot, gonna. Okay. I'm trying to get something starting here, yeah. but Choji just kind of getting, um, getting back that neutral win. Yeah. Oh, that was oh. nice. The land. All right, good ledge trap too, and this uh, could be it. Nope. Yep. Yeah. All right, two stock coming up from Choji. Yeah, that's one of the things that like I think makes Samus like pretty strong. Um, is that that the ledge trap like flow chart is really really straightforward and it's really really strong, right? Yeah. And just gave Zai one L on from habit. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> True. He's too busy mixing people with like Milia. I should play Pikachu in this game. So true. They're both yellow. Do the same Alright, we got the game two okay, fist mid bump. J Choji mid bumping. A little sussy. Cho Choji's a bit of a mid bumper. Choji. A lot of a mid bumper actually. Yeah, dude, have you ever played a best of five versus him? That's oh. seven fist bumps, dude. Oh, brother. Seven? Yeah, because there, or wait, no, it'd be sick. Because there's like one in between every game, and then there's one at the start of the set, and then there's one at the end. That's a lot of bumping. Yeah. But you picking up that arrow. One of the most forgotten mechanics in this entire game. Oh, oh that's that really is, unfortunate. That is unlucky. <laughs> it's okay, maybe you didn't need it. Like, oh, no. Even told you a bit of a handicap here. 
you know, give him a false sense of confidence. But there we go. Yep, big damage. Oh, very nice. Big damage. Same with the no jump, but he's going to get back to the stage for free. Yep. Stelly finally seems comfortable. Oh, that was nice. That was really nice. Well, for, for, I think if he didn't drop there, he could have just up the Oh, oh rolling yeah. The, that jab oh. into the grab. So mm -hmm. Such a strong play from Samus. The Jivic grab classic. Oh, nice. Dropping a bit too far away. Joji gonna hug the wall to make it back. Get out of the corner, but uh... Oh, catching him really well. He's like limiting size space that you can move in. And Link's got like pretty bad airspeed, so it's like... And pretty slow buttons too, so it's pretty limiting. Yeah. But still, that back air, that's his fastest fun right there. Frame six. Alright, nice fake out with the charge shot. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I think at this point, Zai's just gonna have to either, like, make a call out or. Yeah. Because I think that's one, well, one thing that uh, Zai's missing right now, which is like having a uh, decent counter poke uh, game. Also not a few got a shield. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like... It's a great tool to have in your arsenal. Just kind of being able to check uh, Choji in the oh, middle, a, I think yep. is really important. Okay. Well, that bomb's going flying. Oh. That's a lot of Ooh, damage. Yep. Up to so powerful. Yeah, you can't skip the ledge here. Link with the second biggest scale up attack in the game. And arguably just the best because it's like Bowser leans forward a lot more and it's not disjointed. Yeah. I get to attack goes super far. But you wanna see an edge guard? Oh, yeah. Zai not being able to come back to stage, unfortunately. Yeah. Just stuff a, coming up 